Welcome, and thank you for attending the pre-hearing open house and corridor public hearing for the Topsail Island Bridge Replacement Project. Your attendance at this meeting indicates the importance of this bridge to your community's travel needs, economy, history, and connectivity. Please be sure that you sign in at the welcome table and pick up a handout. The handout includes information about the project and a comment form. The purpose of today's open house and corridor hearing is to communicate the current project status and address your questions, present the corridor alternatives under study, and ask for your feedback, which will assist in the selection of the preferred corridor. After this presentation, we invite you to view the corridor hearing maps and artistic renderings of the alternatives which are located along both sides of the room behind you. NCDOT right-of-way agents are also available to answer your questions about the project's property impacts as well as explain the right-of-way acquisition process. The comment forms can be dropped off at the comment table or mailed in by January 18, 2012. Although the existing bridge remains safe for travel, it has been determined to be structurally deficient and functionally obsolete. In addition, its age makes it very difficult to maintain. Therefore, NCDOT proposes to replace the existing swing span bridge. The project team is considering three levels of bridge replacements. First, a low-level, movable bridge with a waterway clearance of approximately 15 feet. Second, a mid-level, movable bridge with a waterway clearance of approximately 30 feet. And third, a high-level, fixed bridge with a waterway clearance of approximately 65 feet. The existing, low-level, swing-span bridge has a waterway clearance of 13 feet. The new bridge will include one lane in each direction, with bike lanes and sidewalks on both sides of the road. At some of the intersection locations, the project team is also considering a unique design called a roundabout. Roundabouts are a type of intersection in the form of a circular loop. The circular flow allows for better traffic operations, improved safety, and enhanced aesthetics. Currently, Alternatives 5, 5R and 17 include roundabouts at the NC5210 Intersection Island location. Other roundabouts may be added if deemed desirable. The project team conducted the first Citizens Workshop on June 25, 2009. During this meeting, citizens sketched potential bridge realignments. Based on these sketches and comments received, 20 alternatives were developed to replace the existing bridge. These 20 alternatives define the study area that is highlighted on the screen. Four of these 20 alternatives were quickly eliminated due to significant impacts. The remaining alternatives were presented in three groups at the Second Citizens Workshop, which was held on October 21st, 2010. Based on feedback from the second workshop, as well as input from regulatory agencies, the project team has further reduced the number of alternatives to seven. The seven alternatives are shown on two corridor hearing maps. Alternatives 4, 5, and 6 are shown on map 1. Alternatives 5R, 7, 11, and 17 are shown on map 2. Two of the seven alternatives, 6 and 7, are movable bascule bridge options that replace the bridge in the existing location, but with different waterway clearances. Alternative 6 is a low-level option with 15-foot waterway clearance. Alternative 7 is a mid-level option with 30-foot waterway clearance. Both require a temporary vertical lift detour bridge to accommodate traffic during construction. The remaining alternatives 4, 5, 5R, 11, and 17 
are high-level fixed bridge options with a 65-foot waterway clearance. None of these alternatives requires a temporary detour bridge. The project team has evaluated all seven alternatives and summarized the various impacts, costs, and visual considerations for comparison purposes. These summaries are included in your handouts and the significant items are presented in the next few slides. Potential property impacts include impacts to businesses, residential housing, and vacant land. Alternative 5R would require the highest number of relocations, resulting in the highest right-of-way costs. Alternative 6 would require the least number of relocations and have the lowest right-of-way costs. Alternatives 6, 7, and 17 would require property from the Sound Side Park. Alternatives 6 and 7's detour bridge would temporarily impact approximately 0.4 acres of the park. This impact would require relocation of the performance stage and picnic facilities, which is considered an adverse impact. Alternative 17 would have a minimal impact to the southeastern corner of the Sound Side Park. Utility impacts are significant for all seven alternatives, with many utility towers along NC50210 requiring relocation. Alternatives 6 and 7 would require the most extensive tower relocations, resulting in costs approximately 10 times greater than the remaining five alternatives. The project team also evaluated the overall project costs. Major cost items include right-of-way, utility relocation, construction, and operation and maintenance. As all cost items are totaled, the movable bridge alternatives 6 and 7 have the highest costs due to extensive operation and maintenance costs. The high-level fixed bridge alternatives total costs are approximately 30 to 40 percent lower when compared to the movable bridge alternatives. Alternative 17 has the lowest total costs of approximately 57 million dollars. The new bridge will result in visual changes in the Intracoastal Waterway Crossing. These visual changes are shown for each alternative on the artistic rendering boards. Although alternatives 6 and 7 would remain in the existing bridge location, changes will occur visually. Alternative 6 will be a few feet higher than the existing bridge, whereas alternative 7 would be approximately 25 feet higher than the existing bridge. Given the bridge's height increase, the view shed would change for properties immediately adjacent in alternatives 6 and 7. The high-level fixed bridge alternatives would appear very similar to the existing North Topsail Beach Bridge. With consideration for each alternative's respective impacts and costs, Please review the two hearing maps and artistic renderings for the seven corridor alternatives and provide your comments. We also request that you rank the alternatives in order of preference. Your input, along with the environmental impacts and costs, will be used by the project team going forward. You will have an opportunity to make a formal comment on record during the corridor hearing, which begins at 7 p.m. If you wish to speak during tonight's formal hearing, please register on the yellow sign-in sheet at the welcome table. However, it is not necessary to speak at the hearing for your comments to be considered. All written and verbal comments hold equal weight and will be incorporated into the final environmental document. This document, which is expected to be finding of no significant impact, also known as FONSI, is scheduled for completion in fall of 2012. Currently, NCDOT has scheduled right-of-way acquisition to begin in 2014, with construction following in 2016. Throughout the planning process, the project team will continue to seek your input. If you have any questions or need additional information, you can contact Ed Lewis through the phone number and email address provided in your handout. The North Carolina Department of Transportation thanks you for joining us today and looks forward to your questions and comments concerning the proposed Topsail Island Bridge Replacement Project.